Michael Wojcik, and today we're going to be topping the head of the ulna and the pronator phase. So we're going to start with uh, the head of the ulna. So this is Austin over here, and we're just going to ask him to use his arm. So uh, we're going to start at the olecranon fossa underneath, and this is where uh, the ulna starts. So we're just going to uh, go distally along the uh, shaft of the ulna and then a little bit anteriorly till we reach uh, the head of the ulna right here. So the head of the ulna is important because um, it articulates uh, with the radi uh, ulnar notch of the radius and uh, with the articular disc that's uh, at the wrist joint between the uh, carpal bones and the head of the ulna. So now we're going to move on to the pronator teres. So the pronator teres has uh, two origins. One is the humeral head, uh, which is the medial epicondyle of the humerus. And the other one is the ulnar head, which is uh, the coronoid process of the ulna. So it's very deep in here. And um, the insertion is the lateral uh, one third of the uh, radius. So it starts from these two origins and it runs diagonal. So we can feel it running diagonal over here. And to confirm it, I'm just going to ask Austin to turn his hand over while I apply some pressure. Uh, so I'm going to ask him to move it this way. And, apply, and while I apply some pressure. So over here, you can see it moving diagonally. And it's also uh, supplied by the median nerve. And is the pressure all right? Yep. Okay, and that's all.